Thank you. And uh, before that, the boss are there just to give me a slip when I entered the hall. And with the, the, the scribbling here, or with the writing, that I must speak something about my first experience on the stage and my second experience, which is very, very funny. At the age of five, I will use some Malayalam and Tamil also in between. That will be interesting for you. With the permission of, of course, it is. Go ahead. Department of English and uh, Master Philip has given me the sanction or sanctions and I will go. I was a tiny little thought in the year 1960. So there was a speech competition or elocution competition. So one of my teachers, who is no more, he will be watching from heaven. He trained me to speak in English and the talk was fashion. So I came home and I told my grandmother, Grandmother, and that was the time when the shorts with the yeah, stripes that gave way to the shorts with belt. So I told my mother, please give me a yeah, shorts, a pair of shorts with belt. And I must go inside and tuck in, eat and pray. My, ma my grandmother said, don't worry, my son, I am going to make it for you. So the day proper came, they have ordered for different things. Everything came except the belt. So that was really a predicament for me. And my mother said, why you worry my grandson? I am going to dress you up in style. She brought a twine and she tied it around my waist. And the knot was so ugly, I told my grandmother, see, this is very funny. And my mother said, don't worry my son. She put a rose flower there. <laughs> and you see me jumping with a rose flower. Okay, I went to school. The teachers came forward, put me on the stage, set the mic for me. And the moment I saw a crowd like this, today also I am nervous, but I am not showing it. I became very nervous and my belly or my stomach started bulging. <laughs> And beware, I had a twine, and the twine was not strong, it gave way. <laughs> the twine broke, and the knicker, boom, it went down. And I was standing there with my money all up open. And all the children, especially the girl children there, they were... <laughs> I fell down, fainted, and the teachers grabbed took me in a, a water pot, gave me a fantastic wash, kept me on their shoulders like a winner, like our uh, Viren de Seva, they kept him on the shoulders and they started marching towards my home. And my funny grandma thought I had won the first prize. <laughs> and what did she do? She called the whole village, come on, my son has won, come on, come and see the fun. I was really praying to God that nobody came out, but all the people came and she asked the teacher, What are you? You are Maya and Kalikita, huh? And the Vatya said, You are Nama, and the Maya and Kalakalama, and the Vatya and Kalikita. The next day I went to school. All, the, all my friends started teasing me. But there was this William, sir. He hugged me and said, My son, you fell down, no problem. But you stood there for a minute. I just thought of Shakespeare's Mark Antony. Mark Antony and Shakespeare meant nothing to me in those days. But later I realized that Mark Antony was a very, very powerful speaker. So this word of encouragement put something in me and it is because of that something, something I am here before you, beloved children. The tragedy or the victory do not end there. After two years, that was the year 1962 and it is because of that I got interested in drama, the Indian drama. 
Cyrus Jiva wrote the lead role of the play called Samrat Ashoka. I am going to just enact it for you. And something very funny took place there also. But the teachers did not leave me alone. And once again, because of that, I am here. Okay, 1962, the curtain is down, there came a bell, the curtain went up, and Samrata Shogan is there.